encore une fois, tout le monde m'a fait ma kini. Quand tu m'as dit, fais ton moment, quand tu m'as dit, fais ton moment, quand tu m'as dit, fais ton moment. I firstly acknowledge the presence of our Lord and thank you, Reverend, for leading us in that prayer. I think it's His grace that enables all of us to be here in this great event here. Let me hear to King Atanate Fenon, what I may need to know, 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 what I may need to know. Mr. Buravinaka, to our friends from Fiji, to Alohani and to Alofa, from our friends from Tokelau and Tuvalu, to our friends from the Rock of Polynesia, to our friends from the beautiful islands of Samoa, and to our friends from uh, the Pearl of Pacific, the Cook Islands, Greetings from the team of the Fono and from the royal language. Yeah, I offer my maloi lele. I get to greet you as royals, maloi la mali. And it, and I talk about the welcomes from the chair. Um, thank you for all for being here and acknowledge the mayor for taking time to be here. But from the operational team at the Fono, I'd like to acknowledge a lot of our funders and partners, our Minister Bennett. Your team at the Ministry of Social Development have supported us uh, in a number of projects and a number of services that benefit not only our team but also uh, our communities. For the Ministry of Health, we've got the Chief Advisor here, uh, Hilda Fasalele from the, from the team at the Ministry of Health. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, from our clinics, our team at ProCare, um, never ending support um, in terms of funding and support. So, from our Uh, the, the parliamentarians for your support, but most importantly, I think, is our community that are here with us today, our community leaders leading from Alessandra. And I think we're just witnessing here, it's difficult to follow such a performance because they, the kids in here, not only our youth, but also um, our young ones, they are the future of our, of our, they are the future of not only New Zealand, but also our community. And it's actually, uh, a and it's actually a blessing to be able to support and work alongside them. So it's wonderful for you all to be here at the official launch of our new brand identity, the Fono. The Fono brings together the West Fono Health Trust, the People's Centre, Madurewa, St. Patrick Square Medical and Dental, Pacific Horizon Healthcare, and White Sarkade Family Start. When we decided to rebrand as the Fono, we saw feedback from our stakeholders about the essence of our organization. And that is how we end up with the tagline that described the ethos of the Fono, caring is our culture. The organization began as a pioneering Pacific Health organization a quarter of a century ago. And while our rebrand still confirm our identity, we are dealing with more migrants from across the globe who have their own stories of their journey to New Zealand. Many of high needs and are attracted to the funnel because we do practice the caring culture that we preach. Our aim was to introduce a meaningful brand identity, professional communication to reflect our strategic direction. And we also wanted to raise the profile of the funnel services across medical, dental, pharmacy, community and social areas. Many of these are free for those that need it most. Healthcare is changing with the needs of our changing population. As an organization, we're responding to that change. Our strategy involves us growing and introducing new services, whether it's opening a dental chair at our Henderson's clinic, or opening a new clinic in Whangarei to provide social assistance for our Northland community. We also focus on building awareness of the issues that affect our people. Issues such as the rheumatic fever, where the rates of Pacific children suffering from rheumatic fever is more than 40 times than those of the European descent. Both our Henderson and Blockhouse Bay clinics are Ministry of Health approved throat check clinics for the 4 to the 19 year olds. And our communities are benefiting from these services. By now, I'm sure 
that you have heard of term the final order or final order. communities. Prospering families contribute positively to the New Zealand society and raising the overall standard of living is important. And that is why our team works so hard day in and day out towards our vision. Angela Tuala is a great example of the Fono Fano Water approach in practice. Her story is one of trial, tribulations and heartache. But he had risen above it all so she and her four sons can live a safe, healthy and prosperous life. Five years ago, she was morbidly obese, weighing, at, weighing in at 180 kilos and experiencing severe spinal pain. Her oldest child, Lou Xavier, who is now 10, was diagnosed with level 4 ADHD and was struggling to control his behavioural impulses and to make friends. For several for several family members' suggestions, Angela came to the funnel in Henderson West to utilize both our medical and our social services. At the funnel, she found the doctors did not judge her. They listened to what she was saying. When the funnel team sent her to a specialist to get an MRI scan, they discovered that she did not have any discs in her lower spine causing paralysis that the damage had caused by domestic violence, trauma and abuse she had suffered growing up. A treatment plan was set up and the support workers ensured that Angela attended her appointments and the Fono team rallied together to support her and her family. Even if you were struggling to make an appointment, things such as the support worker will even take care of the kids to ensure that Angela gets to those appointments. So far, Angela has lost 90 kilos, swims, eats well, and tries to stay in good health for her kids. The Fono has been able to help Angela's four children. They use medical facilities for asthma, eczema, and also general medical issues. Louis Xavier has benefited from the Strengthening Family Program that run by our partners at Ruben Rayburn House, who have helped to work are the positive action plan for him to help manage his ADHD. Angela is now at a stage of her life where she feels worse, the worst is behind her. It is now time to look forward and rebuild and do all she can for her story is one of triumph. I'm proud to say that the Fono's caring and holistic approach have really made a difference to her and her children's lives. Our services are all about helping those who need them most, looking at the bigger picture of health. Rebranding our, re our organization as the Fono unifies us, strengthening our organization and allowing us to make our unique and affordable services available Auckland wide, while allowing us to expand and continue to serve our community. By being here, we thank you for being part of our ongoing journey, which we intend that it will continue for another quarter of a century and more. Nore ira tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa, mei taki mātā, mei nāka wakalevu mālo, soi fua mea manuia, debe debe malangato awhei katamaro.